Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Matic. Yeah, Matic, maybe, maybe, finally the top in place here. Seems like a solid top in wave four, but of course it needs to follow through and a break below this significant swing low here at um, 51.1 cent would increase probabilities that this fifth wave to the downside, yeah, is unfolding. Remember, we are tracking here currently a structure in which we say that so more like that, that um, a larger degree fourth wave ended end of August and we're now coming down in an ending diagonal in a fifth wave. One, two, wave three, this could be a wave four and one more low to come in a wave five. Um, there are other wave counts that are possible here. I could just shift it around a little bit and say this was wave one, this wave was wave two, wave three is still in the making in an A, B, C structure, then a four and a five. But in the short term, it doesn't make a difference, okay? So um, yeah, I, I, I'm assuming we're currently in wave five and I currently still assume as long as resistance isn't broken to the upside and resistance is at 55.2 cents, I assume that we are going to make a new low below 49.2 cents and the targets that we had are 48.6, 46.5, and 41.2 cents. If I zoom in a little bit, then we want to take a look at the microstructure. Uh, by the way, in previous videos, we looked at the long-term count. So you'll find that in the long-term video playlist that we have on the channel. Um, yeah, wh why is this swing low so important? Well, it's quite important because we typically say in Elliott Wave that when we have an ABC structure in wave four here, which is pretty well defined, um, then as soon as the B wave yeah, of the previous correction is broken, you can typically assume that the next wave has started to the downside. So currently, I can't really give you any more micro counting here. I mean, it is highly speculative if we do that. So best I could tell you is to assume that maybe this wave A could be a five wave move, right? So the A wave could be a five wave move. It's the A wave of the wave five. That means we're looking for five waves. Again, an A wave can also be a three wave move. That's the tricky part. That's why I can't really give you a micro count. But if I made an attempt, you know, this could be a one, two setup. Um, this here, we might still be in the third wave, then a four and a five. But yeah, it's not as reliable as for example, Bitcoin, right? So one, two setup, and then, yeah, you could argue that we've got five waves complete actually in this third wave already. Then a one, a two, three, four, five in wave three, okay. It's absolutely an assumption to make, but I have to say that this small fourth wave, it wasn't really long enough. So that's always where you then see all these distortions on low, on smaller time frames. If you ask me if I, you know, to I would, what I prefer is this actually, to say that we might now be in four in wave four. We only completed wave three because if you look at this, this could be another small one, two, three, four, five in wave three. Now we're in wave four, then in wave five down, of the larger degree third wave, then another four and another five down of wave A. Yeah, but. Then getting that much into micro counting with an altcoin is a bit ridiculous. So that's best best I can tell. So if we talk about key uh, levels to watch, I mean certainly the last wave too high is very relevant. That's here the 54.2 cent level. I mean against that level I would focus on lower, and you can typically use also the 50% retracement level because we say we might now be in the fourth wave then this is at least an early indication that things are starting to turn around or not go as planned. That's the 53.2 cent level. That is micro resistance. It's nothing reliable, okay? Not with an altcoin, not looking at the microstructure, which is completely messy due to an ending diagonal. But that's, that's the first indication that things start to break. But the wave too high there is even more relevant. Yeah, but overall, expectations are for it to follow through here to the downside in the coming days or even weeks uh, until we make one more low. It doesn't technically need that one more low. Yeah, we All we wanted um, weeks ago was another low below the here below the 10th of June low. It did that. It accomplished that. But yeah, because the move up was not impulsive, only corrective, I think I would favor another 
low. But yeah, if I see an impulse above resistance, I will change my view. That's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.